In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use GIMP to make text with a super bright light in the background, like you see here. So we'll start by creating a new project. So go up to the File menu and press New. And we want a width of 1000 pixels and a height of 750 pixels. And this image is a little bit larger than our work area here, so let's resize our view area. So go up to the View menu, select Zoom, and then select Fit Image in Window. And let's start by turning our background black. And we can do that by going to the Bucket Fill tool, make sure that the foreground color is set to black, and then click on the background area here. And next we're going to add a radial gradient. So click on the Blend tool, and for the shape, select Radial. Make sure that the gradient type is set to FG to BG, which means foreground to background. And then we want to swap the foreground and background colors, so click this little double arrow right here. And then place your cursor at about the center of the background and then press and hold the mouse button and drag to the side. And then when you release it, you'll get a gradient. And next we're going to add some text. So click on the text tool, set the text type to sans bold, set the size to 200, and then set the color to black. and then click in the background area, and then start typing your text. And then you can use the Move tool to position this in the center. And then next, select the background layer by clicking on it. And then go over to the Rectangle Selection tool and click on that. And then we're going to draw a selection starting in the top left hand corner. And we're going to drag this down to about right here. And then we want to fill this selection in with a dark gray color. So click on the foreground color here. Choose a dark gray. And press OK. And then select the Fill Bucket tool. And then make sure that you have this checkbox checked, which is Fill Whole Selection, and then click in the selection area. And now you can remove the selection by going up to the Select menu and select None. And now we need to make a duplicate of our text layer. So select the text layer, and then press the Duplicate button to duplicate it. And for now, you can turn the duplicate layer off. And then next, we want to combine this text layer with the background layer. So click on this text layer right here, and then right click and choose Merge Down. And now our text and background layer are on the same layer. So now we're going to add our bright light to the background. So go up to the Filters menu and select Light and Shadow and Supernova. So we want to position this in the middle of the M area, right in the middle of this little area that makes a V shape. So you can click right there, and then we want to change the radius from 20 to 30. And then press OK. And next we're going to add a shadow down in this area right here. So turn on this text layer right here and select it. And we need to invert this text so that it's upside down. So select the flip tool right here. Make sure that it's set to vertical. And then click on the text. And then next we need to move this down. So click on the move tool and then move the text down. And if you press the control key while you move it down, then it'll go straight down. And then position it to where it's just right below the other text. 
And now we need this text layer to be the same size as the background layer. So we can do that by right clicking on the layer and then select Layer to Image Size. And then next we need to change the shape of this shadow so that the edges of the shadow line up with the rays of light that you see here. So we're going to add some guidelines to make sure that we have this right. So first go up to the View menu and make sure that Show Guides is checked. And then go up to the ruler area that's on top of your image here. And while you're in this area, press and hold the mouse button and then drag down. And this will pull a guideline down. And you want to pull it down until it's just a little bit above the shadow text on the bottom. And then go over to this ruler area on the left, press and hold the mouse button, and then drag a guideline over here until you're just a little bit to the left side of the text. You don't want to touch the text, you want to be just a little bit on the left side. And then drag one more guideline over until you're just on the right side of this text. And then next, add a new transparent layer. And you can do that by clicking on this button right here. Make sure that the layer fill type is set to transparency and press OK. And then for this next step, we're going to zoom out because we need more area to work with. And now select the pencil tool, which is this button right here, and then change the color to red. Set the brush to a hard brush, which is this one right here, and then set the size of the brush to five. And then go over to the center of the bright light and click one time and then hold down the shift key and drag your mouse. And what you want to do, you want to intersect the spot where we have the vertical and the horizontal guidelines. And we want our new line that we're drawing to run right through the middle of that. And then drag this down to the edge of the background and then click. And then go to the center again, click on it once, and then hold down the shift key again, and do the same on this other side so that we're intersecting this vertical line and this horizontal line. And then bring this out to the edge also. And then click. And now we're going to add one more guideline. So go up to the ruler and click and drag down another guideline. And you want to place this one just a little bit below the bottom of this text here. And notice that the G is larger than the other letters. So you need to make sure that you get this below the G. And now select the layer that has the text. The next, go click on the rectangular select tool. And then starting where these lines intersect right here, press and hold the mouse button and drag this over until you reach the bottom right side where these two lines intersect right here. And then next select the perspective tool, which is this button, and then click in the text area. And what we want to do is to line up the left side of this text or this grid area with this red line right here. So click in this bottom left handle and drag it over until the left side of it lines up with the red line. And then we also want to make sure that it's level with this bottom guideline that we have. So that looks good. And then we need to do the same with the right side. So we'll drag this over till the right side lines up with the red line and we're also on the bottom guideline. And that looks good and then press the transform button. And our result has been placed on a floating selection layer. So we need to anchor that by clicking on the anchor button right here. And now we can get rid of our layer that has the red guidelines. So you can click on that layer and then click on the little trash can here to delete it. 
And then we can get rid of our guidelines by selecting the Move tool, and then just pull these off of the work area. And then to zoom back into our image, I'll go to the View menu, select Zoom, and Fit Image in Window. And now we're going to add a little bit of blurring to our shadow. So make sure that you have this top layer selected that has the text, and then go to the Filters menu, and select Blur and Gaussian Blur. And set the blur radius to 10 pixels and press OK. And now you can merge this shadow with the rest of the image by right-clicking on the text layer and then select Merge Down. And now our image is finished. And if you'll notice, all of the edges of our text are lined up with the rays of light. So you can see that this is a nice effect and it's not too hard to do. Well, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.